Here we are again. We have two of the biggest players in the gaming laptop arena going head to head. Razer, the progenitor of the thin and light rig, is no stranger to cramming powerful specs into a thin, elegant chassis as demonstrated by the latest Blade 15. Alienware has also got into the swing of things, bringing its otherworldly aesthetic to the Alienware M15. They are both thin and light gaming systems loaded with powerful specs, but there is a new wrinkle to consider in this battle OLED. Both systems are equipped with breathtaking 4K OLED panels. However, which laptop reigns supreme? Design. This is a hard one. The Blade 15 is an obsidian dream in its jet black aluminum chassis. It has a boxy shape that is retro yet charming. The company's shamrock green tri-headed snake emblem glows devilishly. The interior offers more ebony goodness, which allows the jewel-colored individually lit RGB keys to shine that much brighter. Meanwhile, you have the Alienware M15. Take some time to pour one out for this version of the M15 as it's the last time you'll see it. The company has rolled out its new legend design, which is sleeker and lighter, thus retiring the classic epic design. This is the last time you will see the epic gray anodized aluminum lid, black magnesium deck and strategically placed lights. Although Alienware is in the beginning stages of embracing its new legend design, Epic is still here looking to take gamers on an intergalactic journey. I, for one, am still ready to answer the call to adventure with this mid-sized battlecruiser. The laptop is still a head-turner with its epic gray anodized aluminum lid, black magnesium underbelly, and strategically placed customizable LED lights. Like the non-OLED system that launched earlier this year, the latest M15 is the lightest Alienware on the market at 4.8 pounds. 14.3 by 10.8 by 0.7 to 0.8 inches, matching the Acer Predator Triton 500, which is 4.8 pounds, 14.1 by 10 by 0.7 inches. Both the Razer Blade 15, 4.6 pounds, 14 by 9.3 by 0.7 inches, and the Gigabyte Aero 15 Classic, 4.6 pounds, 14 by 9.8 by 0.7 inches have it beat. Display. Now here is the fun part, the OLED. Both the Alienware M15 and Razer Blade 15 have been graced with captivating OLED, which means rich, sumptuous color, particularly on the blacks. Those rich hues are coupled with crisp, clean details. However, one of these panels is better than the other. When we measured for color reproduction, the Blade 15 achieved 243% of the sRGB gamut. Nevertheless, the Alienware M15 was even more vivid at 265%. On the brightness test, the Alienware M15 averaged 376 nits, while the Blade 15 shined bright with 438 nits. Oh my, OLED! The M15 is 15.6 inch 4K 3840 by 2160 display is simply gorgeous. It is extremely vivid without relying on oversaturation and offers rich blacks and true contrasts. Watching the Gemini Man trailer was a thing of beauty, particularly the rich gold, red, and green of the Myanmar flag as it fluttered lazily in the breeze during a Will Smith monologue. Details were sharp enough that the tiny furrows in his forehead were clearly visible along with beads of sweat traveling down his temple. Far Cry New Dawn is made for OLED screens. Unlike other post-apocalyptic titles, the land is a bounty of emerald green grass and bubblegum pink flowers. Throw in mutated albino deer and you have got yourself one breathtaking scene. The M15 screen blew past the 146% color reproduction average with 265%. The Blade 15 was a distant second at 149% with a Triton 500 and Aero 15 tied at 117%. Gaming, Graphics, and VR What's a gaming laptop without its graphics card? A business laptop. That is what. The Alienware M15 has an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 Max-Q GPU with 8 GB of VRAM, while the Blade 15 sports an RTX 2080 Max-Q GU with 8 GB of VRAM. Each can hold their own on the gaming front, delivering high frame rates on even the most graphically taxing titles. 
For instance, on the Rise of the Tomb Raider test, the Alienware M15 scored 49 FPS, but the Blade 15 edged it out with 50 FPS. When we ran the Shadow of the Tomb Raider benchmark, the Blade 15 achieved 61 FPS to the Alienware M15's 40 FPS. During the Hitman test, the Alienware M15 notched 102 FPS, while the Blade 15 reached 79 FPS. The Blade maintained its lead at 4K with 51 FPS to 48. On Grand Theft Auto V, the Blade 15 took the lead with 81 FPS, while the Alienware M15 got 79 FPS. Switching to 4K saw the frame rates drop to 41 FPS for the Blade and 25 FPS for the Alienware M15. When we ran the 1080p Middle-Earth Shadow of War benchmark, the Blade 15 and Alienware M15 hit 86 and 83 FPS respectively. At 4K, the Blade 15 obtained 40 FPS, while the Alienware M15 got 38 FPS. The Alienware M15's NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2070 Max-Q graphics card with 8GB of VRAM helps the system hang with some of its closer competitors. Even though I was in imminent danger, I marveled at the gentle ripples I made in the aquamarine waters as I tried to sneak to my next checkpoint in Far Cry New Dawn. When the jig was up, a well-placed circular saw blade from my saw cannon gruesomely found a home in a nearby enemy. Chewing up his flesh at 59 FPS in 1920 by 1080 on ultra settings, the frame rate rose to 73 FPS on high and dropped to 33 FPS at 4K on high and 23 FPS on ultra. That's not to say there aren't a few misfires. The laptop notched just 49 FPS on Rise of the Tomb Raider, which is below the 61 FPS category average. The Aero 15 RTX 2070 performed somewhat better with 55 FPS. The Blade, which also has a 2070 Max Q GPU, managed 60 FPS, while the Triton 500 and its 2080 Max Q GPU just barely beat the average with 62 FPS. On the Hitman benchmark, the M15 hit 102 FPS, pulling past the 99 FPS average. The Aero 15 and the Blade achieved 98 and 96 FPS respectively. The Triton 500 delivered 86 FPS, and when we ran the test on 4K, the M15 obtained 48 FPS. If you are so inclined, you can easily plug in a VR headset like the Oculus Rift or HTC Vive into the M15 and go on a virtual adventure. The laptop maxed out the Steam VR performance test at 11, matching the Triton 500 and Aero 15 and beating the 10.8 average. Performance Each laptop has an Intel Core i7 processor. However, the Alienware M15 has an 8th Gen Core i7-8750H CPU, while the Blade 15 has a 9th Gen Core i7-9750H CPU. Despite the generation gap, the two systems had comparable performance. On the Geekbench 4.3 overall performance test, the Blade 15, 22186, barely kept the Alienware M15, 22029, at bay. However, when we ran the handbrake benchmark, the Alienware M15 only took 9 minutes and 10 seconds to transcode a 4K video to 1080p, while the Blade 15 clocked in with 11.56. The Blade 15's 512GB NVMe SSD duplicated 4.97GB of mixed media files in 7 seconds for a transfer rate of 727 megabytes per second. The Alienware M15's 500GB NVMe PCIe SSD delivered a slower 462.7 Mbps. Keyboard Neither the Blade 15 nor the Alienware M15 meet our 1.5mm key travel threshold, but both surpass our 60g minimum actuation force. The Blade 15's keyboard measures 1mm with 70 grams of force, while Alienware M15's keyboard has 1.2mm travel with 80 grams of actuation. When it comes to actual typing, I prefer the Alienware M15 as it has a bit more feedback than the Blade. Nevertheless, there is also the customizable lighting to consider. Each laptop has per-key lighting with 16.8 million colors to play with. The revamped Alienware Command Center offers eight effects, which makes for not only a pretty keyboard, but a lovely laptop overall thanks to the LED strips located at various places on the laptop. Value 
Never let it be said that Alienware is lacking for choice. There are seven iterations of the Epic design available starting with the $1,099.99 base model, which has an 8th gen Intel Core i7, 8GB of RAM, and a 1 terabit plus 8GB SSHD, an NVIDIA GeForce GTX 1060 GPU with 6GB of VRAM, and a 1920x1080 60Hz display. The $1,969.99 model bumps the RAM up to 16 GB while having the storage to 512 GB, but it's an SSD. You get an NVIDIA RTX 2070 Max-Q GPU with 8 GB of RAM and a 1080p 144 Hz panel. But to get to the OLED, you've got to get the $3,849.99 model which gives you an overclockable 8th gen Intel processor, 32 GB of RAM, a pair of 1TB PCIe M.2 SSDs, an RTX Max-Q GPU with 8 GB of VRAM, and a 4K OLED 60 Hz display. Historically, Razer has not been known for its cost effectiveness. Nevertheless, the company is working on it with its new base model, Blade. Starting at $1599, the entry system has a 2.6 GHz Intel Core i7-9750H CPU, 16 GB of RAM, a 128 GB NVMe PCIe SSD with a 1 TB HDD, an NVIDIA GTX 1660 Ti with 6 GB of VRAM, and a 1080p 60 Hz display. For $1999, you jump to a 512 GB NVMe PCIe SSD, an NVIDIA RTX 2060 GPU with 6 GB of VRAM and a 1080p 144 Hz screen. Our OLED model costs $3,299.99 and has an NVIDIA RTX 2080 Max-Q GPU and a 4K OLED 60 Hz touch panel. Battery life. OLED is beautiful. It is also a battery killer. The Alienware M15 lasted 3 hours and 51 minutes on the laptop mag battery test, but the Blade 15 pulled an upset with a time of 4 hours and 12 minutes. As much as I'm digging the OLED, I'm not feeling the M15's battery life. This version of the M15 lasted only 3 hours and 51 minutes on the laptop mag battery test, continuous web surfing over Wi-Fi at 150 nits of brightness. It is better than the 332 Premium laptop battery average, as well as the Triton 500, which is 304. However, it is nowhere near the 6 hours 25 minutes turned in by the last Alienware M15 we reviewed, or the 5 hour 2 minute and the 6 hour 58 minutes that the Blade and Aero 15 delivered. To be fair, the previous Alienware M15 had a lower res LCD at 1080p and less robust specs overall, so it's hard to say how much of the endurance hit is due to the resolution of this newer 4K model or that it uses OLED technology.